All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Choo Choo Charles. If you're a kid and played with Thomas the Tank Engine, imagine he one day came to life with spider legs on meth. That is basically what this game is about. Now, it has come out for a couple days now, and I've heard overwhelmingly positive reviews about it. It's a lot of fun. The only problem is it's a little short. But hey, let's get started. Now, full disclosure, I already played the first little bit of this game, but my recording software decided that it wasn't going to help me out, and it pretty much killed everything. So, here we are again. And there is Choo Choo Charlie himself. Oh, what a friendly soul. So now, a question of mine that I've had not yet answered to me, and I don't want to look up because, you know, don't want to spoil the surprise or anything, but if I'm caught out in the open, does Choo Choo Charles come after me and try and kill me? That is, that is the only thing I don't know. Also, Eugene is just fast as all hell. Jesus. There. Uh-huh. Not to worry, we can still find a way in. There's a small shack up the path that might have a key inside. Take this map, I just want the location on it. See if the key is up there, and I'll look around some more down here. Now, this is also, if you've been following any of my videos for the past month or so, or if this is your first stop, if it is, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, but this is the very first time I'm recording audio, so I do apologize if there's any background noise that I'm going to have to work on, uh, mic volume, game volume, anything like that. So just please be patient with me. It is a, it's a very large learning experience, and... Um, you know, some of it is a little frustrating, especially when the recordings don't go as well as you plan, or OBS or NVIDIA, whatever, doesn't cooperate, but it's definitely worth it. Yeah, thanks, Eugene. Uh, it is definitely a lot of fun. Like I said, I'm a little over a month through now. Let's search up here, see if there's anything. Um, and I'm having a blast. You know, you learn a little bit each time. Not every video is going to be perfect, especially at the start, but, you know, best things in life are a learning experience, and it is definitely a lot of fun. And then we have our upgrade system, and our gun. Alright. Well, Creepy old Eugene just watching me. But everything looks to be intact. Yeah, thanks. That gun Fun to use. 
<laughs> we can light up Charles with it, take him down before he even sees us coming. Yeah. Are you ready That's how this journey is about to go. Oh yeah. Let's well, let's blow this popsicle stand, Eugene. And here we go. I like the re the respect for the farm door. Oh, I hear it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm very sorry, okay. Oh, Eugene! Eugene! Oh, I'm sorry, Eugene. Well, there you go, everybody. <laughs> There's Choo Choo Charles himself. Hell out of here. Alright, let's head up, see if we can get some more scrap. As for what I've played of the game, yeah, it is a lot of fun. Um, graphics are nice, gameplay is fun. Uh, Charlie's an absolute bastard, but he looks great. Uh, it's, it's an interesting game. I wish I could have been there for the sales pitch of this game when somebody walked into the uh, into the gaming studio and said, you know it would be fun to traumatize people with? You know, trains growing up? Yeah, let's make them demonic. Let's do it. And how? I mean, it worked. Alright, any more scrap? No, okay. Anything in here? Okay. Let's get back to the train and keep on moving. my strategy the first time around was to just go around the whole outside. I could be wrong, but here we go. It is a big whole map as well. Plenty of places for that little bastard to hide. We are about to reach an NPC. here. Well, if you're playing this game and you're curious as to whether you can fall out of a train and it, while it's moving, you can indeed, but it will stop for you, thank you. Eugene told us we'd have a newcomer soon. I suppose that would be you. Hello. There's some scrap metal in the balcony room of my house that you could use to repair. Here's the key. And although the balcony is right behind me, I'll just mark it on your map anyway. As a side note, talk to anyone around here, and they'll do whatever they can to help. Anyone not wearing a mask, that is. Check out the balcony and take whatever you can use. Good luck with everything. Yeah, if, and if you're wondering what could make the experience even friendlier than a demon train trying to kill you with spider legs, cultists that worship a demon train with spider legs. It really comes full circle. Alright, let's grab some scrap metal. We're gonna want to repair our train first and then go for some upgrades. Alright, we got a letter here. We've been waiting as patiently as we can, but the past few days have been chaotic to say the least. Charles has been more aggressive lately to the point where I'm starting to fear how many of us will be left by the time help arrives. Godspeed, Eugene. We're counting on you. Oh, well, sorry, Eugene. You goddamn speedster. You didn't make it. Oh, there's fall damage from that little bit. And she has nothing else to say. Alright. Here we go, the upgrade system. Here we are. Bring it up to about 
five. Alright, we'll see about that a little bit more. Alright, let's get a move on. Yeah, from what I've heard, people usually average speed round to taking your time between two and four hours for this game. Not very much. I believe it was about 20 bucks on the Steam store, but it's definitely a good time. And the premise is creative. You don't often get hunted by trains in the wilderness. That is, that is a unique premise. Alright, let's get some scrap in here. Pants monster hunter. You can't earn my respect without making yourself useful. One of Orange Goons dumped a lock chest in the yard last night. After beating on it for a few hours, I didn't break anything but a sweat. I got some lock picks, but I don't know how to use them. Here, take them. If you can get that chest open, you'll earn my respect. I might just give you some scraps to help improve your train. All right, let's go lock pick. Gonna be that yellow box we saw a couple of seconds ago. There we go. Well, that's. That was not my finest puzzle moment. Alright, let's get back to Daryl with our creepy ass spider drone. Grab some more scrap. <laughs> well, fancy fingers here got the chest unlocked. <laughs> That's an odd looking piece of junk you found inside there. Let down to be frank. You earn my respect. So here's hey, some thanks, scraps, like I promised. All right, back to the train. Get some upgrades. See if Charlie's gonna tackle our ass. Right, good there. Okay. Gonna move on. Got another house up here. Stop and take a look at. The monster hunter has arrived, I see. This is no ordinary hunt, mind you. We've already tried fighting Charles, but he retreats into the wilderness if he is sufficiently hard. We believe there may be a way to get Charles to commit to a mortal battle, however. Dispersed around the island are three eggs, locked in the island's three primary mines. Mm -hmm. Our theory is that putting these eggs in the temple at the center of the island will provoke Charles into a fight to the death. You know, somehow the idea of Charlie having eggs is even more disturbing than I first realized. Has placed armed guards inside each mine to protect the eggs. There's an egg in the mine just down the rail. Here's the key to the mine. I've marked the entrance on your map. Hey, thanks. How dare you lock your door? Grab some scrap. But yeah, I guess it makes sense. You know, if you're real. If you really think about it, if you squint your eyes a little bit and don't think too hard, a spider train can lay eggs. Yeah. Seems plausible to me. Alright. Alright, let's get a move on and see if, Oh, shit. Didn't even realize there was a chest there. Oh, 
that's the good shit right there. Alright, I see a building on fire up there. Alright. Let's go, damage. I don't claim to be responsible. Alright. Up a little bit further to the on fire building. Uh, this game, ironically, with an odd choice, uh, this is the first game I've actually ever played on my new PC, so definitely nice to, to break this sucker in. Been wanting a 3080 computer for a long time, and figured Friday sales were the uh, best time to do it. And I'm glad I did. It's definitely a nice unit, having a lot of fun with it. I made a little flamethrower as an addition to my spider train home defense plan, but as you can see, that is slightly uh, backfired. Yep, yeah, arson is not a good I thing. I cooked myself alive in that shed as I was testing it. Shoot dang. I would love to save the shed, though. If a uh, flamethrower somehow still works after the fire dies down, well, you can take it. I'd assume you're the monster hunter that folks have been expecting, so, uh, Weapon like this could come in handy. Yes, it could. Alright, well, let's go get this fire out. Any scrap up here? Let's get this fire put out. And no, I don't see. Uh, I don't see any scrap. So let's go back. Oh, oh, almost fall down. Using the mirror, take over oh. bug spray. Cause of this chaos. I Thank don't you. wanna see it anywhere near here again. Shoot down. Thank you, Flint. Now we can be arsonists too. And the best thing in here, I get orange paint. Alright. Let's head back to Choo Choo our own. There's a box alongside the road up here. Let's see what we do here. Yeah, definitely make sure you're looking out for the what seems like obvious yellow boxes. That's why I try and do upgrades while I'm still stationary. Eventually, it'd be nice to actually be able to do that and drive at the same time, but oh, I miss too much shit for that. We gotta let the ADD do one thing at a time. Alright, and here we're at the mine entrance. Let's check out here first. Got some scrap metal. And the mind is we go. Alright, now full disclosure, you're supposed to stealth this portion of it. Uh, I'm I'm an idiot, and I've realized that you can just run away from people regardless of guns or not. Urgent letter to Mr. Warren. While mining the farthest tunnel, we broke through a wall into a large cavern. There's something strange here, and we don't know what it is. We're requesting that Mr. Warren visit the southern mine site at his earliest convenience to give us further instructions. Our Eugene Team Supervisor. Oh, I think that was our Eugene. Rest in peace, buddy. Yes, I, I, I see your warning for stealth, and I don't like it. Got some more, got some more scraps. You know, I didn't miss a single one of these last time I played through this game. 
There we go. You know, stay in orange. more successful than my first playthrough when I kind of just ran face first into him and proceeded to sprint away. Alright, suck it, cultists. Not something I thought I'd be saying. Alright, well we've got the first of Charles's eggs. Another sentence I didn't think I'd be saying today. And we're good to go. I mean, look at that orange. God damn, it's looking good. Alright. Get the damage level up one more. Okay. I hear things. They fall off the train. What the hell is that noise? Charles, is that you out there somewhere? Stick to my strategy of just staying along the outside. Wait, wait, wait. Did I screw that up? Yeah, no, I screwed that up. Well, let's go back. just committed to it already? That's weird. Now, it's marked to the right. There we go. Okay. Oh, hey, I wonder if there's... If there's anything down here. Take a quick look. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, my my question of if Choo Choo Charles can in fact... <laughs> if he can in fact attack you outside of the train has been proven very correct. God damn, okay. Now... Will he always be triggered there? Or... Hmm... Unloading all the supplies has been an incredibly eye-opening experience. Here at the port, we've been working all day, every day. 
We are tasked with unloading the boat and running supplies up the hill to the tracks where Theodore and Eddie deliver them to the different sites we'll be mining. The sheer cost of all the infrastructure is mind-blowing. With all the success Warren's family has had in this business, I'm surprised he's choosing to take such a risk here. comes here automatically or okay I don't hear him no, but I did see a cultist and that bastard was chasing me so I assume there's some shit here Oh, I do see a person. Hello. My goodness. The others Santiago. Have someone to come help us. Yes, they did. I'm so glad you came, but I simply cannot stay any longer. This island is too much for my nerves. I've brought all my belongings here so I can leave immediately when a boat arrives. Although now that I think about it, I did forget my journal at home. Could you bring it to me? It's a dangerous journey for sure. But you might manage with that train of yours. I'll give you all the scrap metal I have. Just please bring the. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see if I can get around to it. And another letter. I've been praying someone from the first evacuation group would just send back another boat, but I guess they all think that George Supply's boat is still evacuating people. They're all safe and cozy on the mainland, but feel no obligation to make sure everyone else escapes. I know that Charles sinking the boat isn't something anyone would expect, but still, to think that it would have left this place by now makes me sick. Okay. Get back up there before Charles chases our ass down. It is interesting that essentially, if, if you're out in the open and he spawns, you are just dead. There's no way in hell you're going to survive that. Nine scrap. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave it for now. Because if he attacks us, definitely gonna want some some scrap ready to go. Okay, let's pause here. Take a quick look at the map. New. That's his journal. All right, well, stick into the system. And all right. Let's see what we've got up here. Not a lot of Charles encounters so far. Down here. Let's see if there's anything more. All right. Ominous. <gasps> that is horrifying. I don't like that at all. That actually made me jump a little. 
That is haunting. God. Don't know what this area is. Who is this one? Back am to the other side. Ooh. Figured I didn't greet somebody for that yet. Alright, let's head back to the train before Charlie chases us. Just keep wandering. Probably have to cut it inside to the mainland at some point. Take a look in here. Okay. Ooh, oh shit! Paul asked me to design a new weapon to help you learn, Charles. And using my extensive demolitions experience, I made this rocket launcher. Well, that's awesome. Thank, thank you, John I've Smith. I wanted to see Warren's empire crumble for a long time, so building this puppy was a hell of an opportunity. Now that you're here. I need a few minutes to remove some safety features. While I'm working on that, why don't you bring that box of rocket ammunition back here from inside the bunker down the rail? Oh, absolutely. Alright, uh... Yeah, we got a letter. I'm stuck debating if Warren made us bring our families to this hellhole so we'd never need to leave or to keep information about his business practices away from the mainland. Either way, I want that man in the news. Paul asked me to design a new weapon for the monster hunter that Eugene is sending, and knowing what I do about explosives, you can bet I made the most powerful rocket launcher I would. Warren, you don't stand a chance. You know, it's not Warren I'm afraid of standing a chance to a rocket launcher. It's, uh, it's Choo Choo. It's Choo Choo Charles. Uh, that I'm a little concerned about. Uh. And some more. Oh, he said from the bunker, so I'd imagine. Yeah, it's that. Okay. Getting some pretty good scrap from here at least. Oh shit, I see dynamite. 
Okay. I could have driven the train around, but oh shit, oh shit. Also, uh, you know, now I, I notice a little bit more. I have the world's squeakiest computer chair, so that's always nice. Oh, it's <laughs> interesting. I clicked on that by accident. Thank you, random cart. Oh yeah, that's the good shit right there. Rocket launcher, I mean, that's a <laughs> failed, failed 13 second flight success. Well, it's the diligence that really inspires you. Yeah, I'm stuck in a car. Alright, so, bunker's been taken care of. Let's head back to John Smith, I believe his name was. Get our rocket launcher. See what we can do. I would imagine almost immediately that Choo Choo's going to be on our ass. Since we get a new weapon. Do I want to explore the house first? That's my only thing. Yeah, let's explore the house. Because I doubt anything's going to happen until we get the gun. Hello, randomly shirtless man. Name's Greg, by the way. Creepy. In case you haven't heard already, Warren, the mind boss, is keeping three monster eggs locked away. We're unsure why he wants to protect the eggs. If they hatch, they would surely turn into monstrous creatures to chow us to prevent this. We, we need you to steal all three. Them to bait Charles so we can destroy him. Yeah, one, one of the eggs is, is in the north mine. Here's, here's the key to the entrance. Thank you, shirtless man. I need to write this theory down fast before Warren finds out that I'm onto his dirty bot. My theory is that Mr. Warren Warlord III is trying to hatch and raise more of these eight legged critters. A whole army for who knows what purpose. They found a whole nest of those eggs while clearing out debris from the cave in. We also know that they are as hard as diamonds, completely indestructible. The miners spent months using the temple prison to suck the energy out of all the eggs. But before they could destroy the last one, Old Man Warren stopped them. Warren must have realized how powerful these things are and rather than protect us from them, wants them to take over the world. I'm on to you, Warren. Greg. <laughs> Genius extraordinaire. Good work, Greg. Keep being inspired. Alright, I think we got everything from here. Alright, let's go get that rocket launcher. Do some damage. Hello! Thank you very much. Oh, and take good care of it. I, I, done, I have a few people to visit with it if you catch my drift. Psychopath, but farewell. Thank you for your patronage. I will shoot with you in mind. Oh, well. That's not what we wanted. Let's. I'm just gonna try it. Okay, what do I wanna do? I'm actually going to do the armor, just because I'm going to do a pretty damn good amount of damage. <laughs> and now I need to be on my game, because, oh shit, I wonder what that is. You know what? Let's hook it in reverse real quick. It's a lighthouse, and I'm I'm a sucker for a lighthouse in pretty much anything. <coughs> Bioshock series. Alright, 
inside the lighthouse. And let's hope Mr. Choo Choo isn't waiting for us. <laughs> It is the lighthouse. Alright, glad I happen to look back. Scrap that all. I don't believe I can no. What do we got here? Interesting. Scrap metal. We Hello. have met, but I've heard lots about you coming to help us. I have a favor to ask. The breakers on the side of the lighthouse need replacing. I was okay. recently attacked by Charles, so I'm unable to do it myself. The breakers are in the nearby supply shed. If you go get them and repair the lighthouse, I can try signaling passing ships to come help us. Once you finish, I have some spare scraps to give you. Alright. Ocean Watch, day 68. Police deliver a copy to Paul. I went outside to do a daily routine check with the lighthouse. As I walked around the corner of the building, I saw the beast, Charles. He spotted me and charged straight up the hill in my direction. That spider train is a hideous monster. I can't understand why Warren wants us to stay on Aranarium <laughs> instead of trying to escape the beast. I suppose Warren has simply gone crazy, thinking he can handle the situation on his own. In any case, Charles ran right over me, trampling my leg. I will be able to attend the upcoming meeting and have asked Greg to bring back a copy of the notes if possible. Claire. Alright, well, she is... Given my experience with old Chucky, she is lucky to have only a broken leg. Alright, now, where is the supply shed? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, it doesn't look creepy down here at all. Alright, got the fuses. <laughs> oh, very cool. Very cool. Hello. Fixing the lighthouse will definitely increase our chances of being spotted. Well, also, scraps, I promised. Thank you very much. Put them to good use. Yeah. Make sure I'm actually going the right way. Oh, actually, I think I drove right past. No, no, no. This is the store with creepy old shirtless Greg up there. Alright, well then let's hop in our train, see if we have any good upgrades, and get the hell out of here. Okay. Ooh, 41 scraps, that's pretty damn good. Okay, and then I'll save the last five for some repairs. Let's get to our next area. There's something dead in the center, but I think I already got that.
All right. Well, definitely enjoying the game so far. It is, uh, it's a good time. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, it plays well. Very little performance issues. Occasional frame drop, but nothing I'm going to be overly picky about. That's that's for damn sure. But yeah, no, nice, nice at work, developers. Um, like I said, it is twenty dollars in the Steam store, so it's definitely a good time. Not the longest game in the world, but it is enjoyable, and it's definitely a pretty unique experience. I might stop here and get. Do I want to get the journal? You know what? I'm actually just gonna keep going. I'm probably not gonna double back if I'm being very realistic about how I play video games. Alright, let's try to avoid falling off the train like I did previously. And... Okay. Let's see what we're looking at here. Northern mine. Okay, yeah. Let's just stay to the outside. Keep on moving. No, what? Why? What? Why? 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. I see that in the road. I'm very paranoid I haven't seen or heard anything from old Chucksters. Okay. Right, let's throw this sucker in reverse. You know, I oddly want to watch Polar Express given the holiday season and the fact that I'm driving a train. I think Polar Express and <laughs> building a train Lego would be uh, quite the uh, quite the accurate response to this game. Okay. Now let's go forward. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's head to that northern mine. I'm sure there's going to be a stop or two along the way. Yeah, as we, uh, as we wrap up what was an incredibly fast year, going to try and start playing some more classic series as well. There's not much in terms of new games out currently that I really want to start playing. I have a couple in the works. This was one of them, but this is also a very short project. Um, coming soon will actually be Bioshock, if you guys follow any of the Game Awards uh, that happened a couple days ago. We have another loot item here. Uh, the developers of Bioshock series, one of the best series, I would say, of all time, especially Infinite. And they announced a game known as Judas, which we're very, very excited about. We haven't had a Bioshock game in going on 10 years, so definitely nice to have something of that universe back. And I figured, you know, let's play some more classic games. You don't see a lot of it out there, especially trying to stream in 4K. So, yeah. Oh, and there's, oh my god. Alright, 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 come here. Come here, you big bastard. Come on. There we go. Alright, we managed to chase off Charlie, so not a bad run. I'm going to stop us right here. Oh, I thought I saw a building up here. Alright, let's go a little, a little bit further. Let's see what we can find. Alright, you know, I did see a building. Alright, let's check the map, I believe. Yep, we are at the Northern Mine. Alright, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it for the first playthrough of Choo Choo Charlie. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And I will try and get these next round of playthroughs out in the next couple days or so. Thank you very much again for your support, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, guys.